Evening. I'm not quite sure how well this is filming here. I've got the interior lights on as well. Um, what I'm up to, let's get to that. I'm on the edge of a very large woodland. I know Mark and Rick are camping here tonight and they text me during the daytime and said, do you fancy popping in just for a chat and whatever because I can't camp this weekend. So, you know, just pop in to have a catch up. I'm gonna go and find them and have a bit of a, a woodland walk in the dark because they're about, I don't know, probably nearly a mile from here. Um, we'll see how this goes. It's been raining an awful lot. It's dry now, but it's gonna be a bit squelchy underfoot and uh, doing it in the dark, I might end up knee deep in the mud, who knows? So uh, let's see how we get on. Right, what I would normally do at this point is continue through there for, well, almost a, a fair old distance and then sort of hang a left and round and, you know, eventually come through the front door of the camp, shall we say. Um, what I'm thinking is I might go up through there instead, loop round the back of them and see how close I can get without them spotting me. Just for a giggle. I'm just parallel to the road at the moment, so it's quite easy. Quite easy going. That's why you normally use as a marker to find my way back out. Just listen for the traffic. Oh, yeah, a bit squelchy there. Let's get around that bit. Right, time to make the first turn. Because I've found Big Red. He's always one of my navigational points when I park down by the road. Now I've got to make my way up through here next. I'm going to do a bit of a zoom. I'm doing it with the wrong hand because I'm holding the phone. Don't really show on camera. Anyway, I'm going up through there next. Right, it's time to get off this track. I won't swing the torch round, but I'm going to turn off to my right in a second. And I've got to drop down in the valley and up the other side. They are on the next ridge or rise. So I think this section is not too bad. I don't think they'll be able to see me up here. Um, so let's switch over to, to green, so I'm not quite so obvious. I'll turn the power down a little bit as well in a minute. Um, do this section in green. When I'm in the bottom of the valley, I can probably sight their camp. I'll switch over to red light and turn it down even lower. Right, I've just quickly flicked back to white light, just to quickly show you this. As I cut through this piece of wood, there's a huge beech tree that I use for, you know, a navigational waypoint. And it's always stood there, big and strong. I'll just do this quick, because I don't want the light on too long. Bloody great chunk come down. You just can't trust in beech trees. All right, back to green. Just need to drop, carry on dropping down into this valley. Go up through there. I can just about make out the camp light. Red light time. I've had to turn the camera light off. I'm just too close now. Um, you probably won't be able to see them because, you know, I can only just 
but I am within probably 30 feet. I'm just getting a little glimpse of the fire and people walking about with their torches on. Oh, sounds like someone's doing some soaring. Right, I'll switch off here and walk in. Announce my presence. Hello chaps. Hello. Hello, young man. How are we doing? Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, it's all black in here. Yeah. Right, seeing as I'm here, I'll quickly show you what the guys are using. Mark's got a DD Frontline XL with a, a 3x3 tarp of some description over the top. He's come with a Bergen, my look of it. Here's his camera gear, ready to roll. And Rick has got his 3x3 three three set up in a, a tent. A tent build. Let me just peek in there. They do actually make a, a really good, good shelter. You know, the size, seeing as it's only 3x3 three three to start with, it always, always amazes me, that one. I don't know quite how well you're seeing the dark. I wonder if I can get back far enough. But yeah, good. Good, good, good stuff. Looks like Ricky's just doing some dinner. Yeah, sausages. Got your sausages, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, a bit burnt. A burnt sausage. Oh well. It'll be cooked. And Marky's building a wall. It's like the Great Wall of China. Should do the job. Yeah. Do the job. Also, the light from the fire won't show underneath the tree so much at a distance. <laughs> yeah. You could see it when I came in for the direction I came Good. in. Yeah. Right, so that's that. Enough wobbling. Gonna turn the camera off and sit down and have an hour. Well, that was pleasant. Just spent a, an hour with the guys while they were cooking their dinner, having a chat. And uh, time to walk out. Ooh, once I get over this wet bit, where can we cross? Okay. That's okay there. And I'm gonna go back a different way. Um, I know roughly where I'm going, well, very roughly. I know this woodland really well, but, you know, walking about in the dark, everything looks totally different. Across this little, little stream here somewhere. I was saying to the guys, as I was coming in, oh, I went off course at one point, because somewhere like this that I know quite well, I tend to navigate by the, the big trees, the ones that you know really stick out, uh, ones that I know quite well. And where it's been so wet, and it was a bit windy the other day, two or three of them have come down, and it all looks totally different. And... Uh, at one point, I found myself walking in a big circle, so I lost about 10 minutes, which is complete madness, seeing as I, I do actually know the area, I've been coming in here years. And it just shows you how that one change, or a couple of changes, on the trail markings and throw you completely. I recognise this clearing. I recognise that big beach and that one over there. Oh, 
me feel that's over. <coughs> and if I'm right down this bank, there's a, a track. If I find the track and turn right, I should be going the right way. This it? Yeah, this looks good. That's the other thing. I haven't been over this side for a little while. And normally where the tracks very clearly defined. Of course all the leaves have gone off the trees. The paths have all been covered. Hardly anybody comes in here. So there's not enough foot traffic to keep the paths clear. So all the paths just get covered in leaves. And you can't easily spot them. But, uh, no, I think I know where I'm going now. Right, I'm hearing the traffic again now. So I know I'm getting back towards where the car is. Made a change coming back round this way. Oh yeah, here's the little bridge. Try not to break the neck down the steps. And try not to fall in the water. There's two um, railway sleepers. So excellent strong bridge, but they, they do get slippery. Bank. Now I'm only ooh, five minutes from the car, I suppose. Oh, there it goes. Bing! Message. Finally got signal. That is one of the downsides of being in this very large woodland. There's hardly any phone signal. So, especially. Doing something like this at night, you fall ass over and you know, do an ankle, or twist your knee, or whatever. You know, you're basically on your own. <coughs> there is no, no calling for help. And there's a little bridge. I don't know if you can see the cars. Just the lights flashing as they go through there. That's where my car is. And this is where I started filming. I walked up through that way when I went in. But I've come back through that way. There we go. It's about six o'clock. Time to go home and cook some dinner. See you soon.